Ever wondered how medieval people kept meat fresh for entire years without any refrigeration? Modern food scientists testing their methods discovered preservation techniques so effective that meat stayed perfectly edible after decades. These weren't simple tricks. They were sophisticated systems that created food supplies, lasting longer than most people's lifespans. Salt-curing medieval butchers transformed fresh meat into rock-hard, indestructible food using nothing but salt and thyme. They'd bury entire cow quarters in sea salt for weeks, creating leather-tough jerky that lasted decades. Historical records show Viking warriors carrying salt-curd meat on voyages lasting three years without spoilage. The process required precise salt-to-meat ratios, too little meant rot, too much created inedible salt blocks. Monastery documents reveal monks perfecting salt cures that preserved beef from monastery archives alongside their manuscripts. Smoke houses medieval communities built specialized smoking chambers that functioned like meat preservation factories. These weren't simple fire pits, they were engineered buildings with multiple levels, controlled airflow, and specific wood combinations for different meats. Manor records show smokehouses operating continuously for months, processing hundreds of animals annually. The technique involved cold smoking at precisely controlled temperatures over weeks. Different woods created varying preservation levels. Oak for heavy preservation lasting years, apple for lighter smoking lasting months. Excavations reveal some smokehouses containing meat remain still preserved after 400 years. Military applications, medieval military commanders understood that superior meat preservation meant victory in extended campaigns, siege warfare, and territorial conquest. These weren't simple travel rations. They were strategic weapons that determined outcomes of major historical conflicts. Military preservation required portable techniques that maintained effectiveness under battlefield. Conditions. Campaign meat needed to survive extreme weather, rough transport, and storage in hostile environments while providing nutrition for fighting men. Different preservation methods suited varying military needs, lightweight dried meat for rapid marshes concentrated preserved meat for siege survival and long-lasting preserved meat for extended campaigns. The technique involved creating field preservation operations that processed fresh hunt results into campaign supplies. Military preservation. Masters accompanied armies specifically to maintain food supplies throughout extended operations. Historical records show preserved meat determining siege outcomes when defenders outlasted attackers through superior food storage. Discovery findings from battlefield sites reveal military preservation equipment and storage systems designed. For campaign mobility, Viking raiders developed preservation techniques that sustained transoceanic conquest expeditions lasting years. Crusader armies carried preserved meat supplies that enabled extended Holy Land campaigns. Castle provisioning involved creating preserved meat supplies capable of sustaining garrisons through multi-year sieges. Modern military, studying medieval preservation techniques, found methods applicable to contemporary special operations requiring extended field deployment without resupply. Fermentation preservation, medieval fermentation masters discovered that controlled bacterial cultivation created meat preservation systems more effective than complete sterilization. These weren't accidental discoveries, they were systematic. Fermentation protocols that harnessed beneficial bacteria to prevent harmful bacterial growth while creating unique preservation environments. The process involved creating specific bacterial cultures through controlled exposure to beneficial microorganisms found in natural environments. Medieval fermentation required understanding bacterial competition principles centuries before. Microbiology explained these interactions. Different regions developed specialized fermentation techniques using local bacterial strains that thrived in specific climates. Sausage-making guilds perfected fermentation methods that created preserved meat lasting through entire winters without refrigeration. The technique involved grinding meat with specific salt concentrations, introducing beneficial bacterial cultures through natural fermentation starters, then aging in controlled environments that promoted desired bacterial growth while preventing harmful contamination. Different fermentation methods offered varying preservation results, quick fermentation for immediate consumption extended fermentation for long-term storage, and specialized fermentation for creating complex flavors while maintaining preservation. 
Monastery records describe fermentation techniques that produced preserved meat with enhanced nutritional properties. Historical documentation shows fermented meat becoming trade commodities valued across medieval Europe. The genius lay in understanding that controlled bacterial growth could preserve rather than spoil meat. Creating preservation systems that improved meat quality while extending storage life beyond other preservation methods, brine curing medieval brine masters created liquid preservation solutions so effective that meat remained edible underwater for years. These weren't simple saltwater mixtures, they were precisely balanced chemical solutions containing salt, herbs, and natural preservatives that penetrated meat completely. Recipe manuscripts reveal complex brine formulas varying by region and meat type. Northern European brines used sea salt with juniper berries and bay leaves, while Mediterranean versions incorporated wine and aromatic herbs. The technique required maintaining specific salt concentrations that killed bacteria while preserving meat texture. Barrel makers specialized in creating watertight containers for brine storage. Meat processing involved careful preparation systematic submersion and periodic solution monitoring. Historical records show brinkered meat lasting five years without deterioration. The genius lay in creating hostile environments for bacterial growth while maintaining meat palatability. Monastery breweries discovered that beer-based brines provided additional preservation through alcohol content. Ancient storage sites include brine barrels with preserved meat dating centuries, proving technique effectiveness. Different brine recipes offered varying results. Sweet brines for poultry, strong brines for game meat, and specialized solutions for organ preservation that sustained entire communities through multi-year famines. Spice, preservation, medieval. Spice merchants understood that certain seasonings weren't just flavor enhancers. They were powerful antimicrobial agents capable of preserving meat for decades. Cloves, cinnamon, and black pepper contained natural compounds that killed bacteria. While infusing meat with protective oils, trade route documents reveal spice preservation techniques worth more than gold. Venetian merchants developed spice crisping methods that created impermeable barriers around meat surfaces. The process involved grinding precious spices into pastes, coating meat thoroughly, then aging in controlled environments. Different spice combinations offered varying preservation levels, clove-heavy mixtures for long-term storage, pepper-based coats for moderate preservation, and cinnamon blends for delicate meats requiring gentle treatment. Wealthy nobles maintained spice preservation chambers where meat aged like fine wine. Historical recipes describe multi-stage spice applications creating layered preservation systems. Initial salt curing followed by spice coating, then final sealing with additional spice barriers. The technique produced meat so well-preserved that royal banquets featured spice-cured delicacies decades old. Guild records show spice preservers, commanding higher wages than goldsmiths because their skills meant survival during siege warfare. Modern analysis of medieval spice-preserved meat reveals antimicrobial properties that exceed many contemporary preservatives. Ice. Storage medieval ice masters built preservation systems that kept meat frozen solid for years, using nothing but natural, ice, and ingenious engineering. These weren't simple ice houses. They were sophisticated refrigeration facilities that rivaled modern freezer technology for long-term storage effectiveness. Construction involved digging deep into hillsides, lining walls with stone, and creating insulation systems using sawdust, straw, and animal hair. Ice harvesting required precise timing during optimal winter conditions. Teams cut massive ice blocks weighing hundreds of pounds, transported them carefully, and positioned them strategically for maximum preservation. The genius lay in understanding. Thermal dynamics that maintained freezing temperatures through entire summers, layered insulation systems, proper drainage for melted ice, and air circulation patterns that prevented warming. Historical records show ice houses maintaining frozen conditions for 18 months after harvest. Different ice house designs offered varying storage capabilities, underground chambers for maximum insulation, hillside constructions for drainage, and specialized compartments for different meat types. Structural remains include ice house foundations with meat preservation chambers intact, demonstrating storage systems that functioned effectively for centuries. Fat confit French, medieval cooks, discovered that submerging meat in rendered animal 
Fat created an oxygen-free environment, preventing all bacterial growth. This wasn't cooking, it was creating edible time capsules. The process required cooking meat slowly in its own fat, then sealing it completely under solidified lard or tallow. Historical cookbooks describe confit lasting multiple years when properly sealed. Duck preserved in goose fat, pork sealed in lard, and beef stored in suet became medieval delicacies that improved with age. The technique worked because fat created impermeable barriers, blocking air, moisture, and bacteria. Combination techniques medieval preservation masters understood that combining multiple techniques created synergistic effects that preserved meat far longer than individual methods alone. These weren't random experiments. They were sophisticated preservation protocols that used chemistry, physics, and biology working together. The most effective combinations involved salt curing followed by smoking, then fat sealing for triple protection. Each stage contributed different preservation mechanisms. Salt removed moisture and killed bacteria. Smoke added antimicrobial compounds and created protective barriers. Fat eliminated oxygen exposure and prevented contamination. Guild manuscripts describe complex multi-stage processes requiring months to complete but producing meat that lasted decades. Royal food masters developed combination techniques so effective that preserved meat became inheritance items passed between generations. The technique involved precise timing, understanding chemical interactions between preservation methods, and maintaining optimal conditions throughout multi-month processes. Different combinations offered varying advantages. Salt smoke fat combinations, for ultimate longevity, spice brine fermentation for flavor development, and ice smoke spice combinations for maintaining texture while achieving preservation. Physical evidence shows combination preserved meat in medieval storage facilities, demonstrating technique effectiveness. Modern reconstruction of medieval combination techniques produces meat with shelf lives exceeding contemporary preserved. Foods. Underground chambers, medieval preservation masters built sophisticated underground storage systems that maintained perfect temperatures year-round. These weren't simple cellars. They were precision-engineered climate control chambers dug 1215. Feet deep or temperatures stayed constant at Y minus 55 degrees Fahrenheit, regardless of surface weather. Castle records describe elaborate underground networks with separate chambers for different preservation types. Stone-lined walls prevented moisture while proper drainage eliminated condensation. Ventilation systems provided air circulation without temperature fluctuations. The genius lay in understanding natural geothermal properties that modern refrigeration tries to replicate. Different chamber designs offered varying storage capabilities. Deep ice chambers for frozen storage lasting through entire summers. Root cellars for dried meat storage and specialized rooms for different preservation methods. Royal castles maintained underground chambers spanning acres containing meat supplies for siege survival lasting years. Construction records show these chambers required months to build properly, but provided food security for generations. Temperature monitoring techniques included hanging chains that indicated frost levels and positioning. Storage based on airflow patterns perfected through trial and error. Legacy methods medieval meat preservation techniques created foundation knowledge that influenced food science development through centuries with many contemporary preservation methods directly descended from medieval innovations, perfected through generations of practical experience. These weren't primitive techniques, they were sophisticated preservation. Science that modern technology continues to refine rather than replace. Contemporary food scientists studying medieval preservation found techniques that exceeded modern preservation in specific applications. Medieval fermentation methods produced antimicrobial properties superior to contemporary preservatives. Salt curing techniques created preservation duration, impossible with modern chemical additives. Fat preservation methods achieved protection levels that modern packaging struggles to replicate. The genius lay in understanding fundamental preservation principles through empirical observation and systematic experimentation. Medieval preservation masters developed techniques through practical application rather than theoretical knowledge, creating methods that worked consistently under re conditions. Different medieval techniques influenced specific modern preservation developments. Medieval smoking methods evolved into contemporary smoke flavoring. 
Salt curing techniques became modern deli preservation and fermentation methods developed into contemporary probiotic production. Historical preservation analysis reveals medieval techniques that modern food science hasn't successfully replicated. Museum preservation experiments using medieval methods achieved results that exceeded contemporary preservation in longevity and quality maintenance. Historical preservation knowledge influences contemporary survival preparation, artisanal food production, and specialty preservation methods. Scientific analysis of medieval preserved meat samples found preservation completeness that modern technology cannot match. Proving medieval preservation masters achieved understanding of food science principles that contemporary researchers continue studying. Medieval meat preservation represented humanity's most sophisticated pre industrial food science, developed through centuries of practical experimentation. When preservation failure meant death for entire communities, these techniques weren't cooking methods but survival technologies that sustained civilizations through extended crises. Historical development involved systematic refinement of preservation methods through trial and error across generations. Medieval preservation masters achieved understanding of microbiology, chemistry, and physics through empirical observation centuries before scientific theory explained their methods. The genius lay in creating preservation systems that worked consistently without understanding underlying scientific principles. Research evidence shows preservation techniques spreading across cultures through trade and conquest, indicating universal recognition of technique effectiveness. Medieval preservation knowledge became the foundation for subsequent food science development, modern versus ancient. Comparison medieval preservation techniques offered distinct advantages over contemporary methods while modern technology provides conveniences that medieval systems couldn't achieve. Understanding both approaches reveals complementary preservation strategies. Addressing different contemporary needs and circumstances, medieval methods excelled in creating preservation without industrial infrastructure, using locally available materials and achieving preservation duration that exceeded modern chemical preservatives. Ancient techniques worked independently of electrical systems, supply chains, and industrial processing, while creating preservation that improved with time rather than degrading. Contemporary preservation provides consistent results, convenience, and safety standards that medieval methods couldn't guarantee. Modern refrigeration offers immediate preservation. Industrial processing enables mass production and chemical preservatives create standardized shelf life predictions. The genius lies in combining medieval and modern approaches for optimal preservation strategies. Ancient techniques provide backup systems when modern preservation fails offering food security for emergency situations and remote locations medieval. Methods create artisanal products impossible through industrial processing, while modern technology ensures safety and consistency. Different applications benefit from varying approaches. Emergency preparation using medieval techniques for infrastructure independence, contemporary convenience through modern preservation, and specialty food production combining both methods for unique results that neither ancient nor modern techniques achieve alone. Ready to discover more incredible medieval survival techniques that could save your life today. Subscribe to our channel for weekly videos revealing forgotten historical knowledge that modern people desperately need. Hit that notification bell so you never miss life-saving ancestral wisdom that could make you completely self-sufficient.